What's up guys, welcome back to part 4 of my making of of this awesome mini game. I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet, probably Castle Defense, but I tweeted out a tweet asking you guys um, what names you could think of. And a lot of people said some good names, I like Siege, Castle Siege, or Block Defense. I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick one of them and it's gonna be awesome. But let's go to the point of this video. Which is that I made a wave system and it is based on Sefling's Plants vs Zombies, actually Blocks vs Zombies map. And I used his concept and kind of made it into my own own way, so it's still unique to me, but it is, yeah, I got the idea from him. So let's go do, to there, which is all the way over here. And uh, yes, I made some more castle stuff, which is not decorated at all yet, but I will still do that. So there's a ton of stuff here. By the way. Okay, so I can explain this from this side all the way over there. So what this is doing is it is looping through all these command blocks and each one of them is teleporting an entity which is a type zombie. So it's going to teleport all zombies within a radius of 12 blocks. So 12 blocks is until about here, there. So what I'm doing is every time I'm spawning a zombie I'm spawning it on top of this middle block and then one of them depending on where the clock is at that point which is pretty pretty random it will teleport it to one of the coordinates which are in these things so each of these coordinates are one apart so as you can see 163 this one is going to 162 161 and those coordinates correspond to these positions which is from this one till that one. So you have like a random um, amount that zombies will spawn so it will not be like in the middle or on the left. It will be randomly chosen. Well not randomly but as random as I could get it. I may have a better system for this soon but I'm gonna keep this now. Um, so this is a clock which is checking if the game is running. So my command, uh, my variable that I made was game active and when it's set to 1 the game's running. If it's set to zero, the game is stopped, it is not running. So this will only go through, so the only wave system will only work if the game is running, which is pretty damn obvious, but that's kind of a programmer way of looking at things. So once this is zero, I mean one, this will get activated and then a signal will go to all three of these directions. First of all, it is setting this block back to the command that it has which then resets the signal the comparator gives so if you didn't do this then a comparator would stay on and you would not have a pulse going through but when you do this the comparator will be reset and it will keep sending a signal because the command block get res gets reset by this one and it just goes through and that is a very very awesome thing it's just like a an if command and once it passes it just goes through instead of staying on if that makes sense I don't know so this one is adding one to the variable time actually objectives but I'm calling variable because it's easier for me so this is every one second this thick this clock is exactly one second so every one second it's adding one second to the time objective of everyone so then this one tests if a player has a minimum score of one in the time objective so everyone has one so the first second this gets activated one will be added and then this one will get on and it will go through and loop through all the commands that are in this and you probably guessed it the next one is when the next wave should happen now I'm making waves of increments of 90 seconds so there will be 60 seconds of zombie spawning in each possible way and then you have a 30 second uh, like a break of spawning but there will still be zombies in the field that you can kill but in those 30 seconds there will no zombies uh, be spawning inside of the game so you have like if you kill them before those 60 seconds then you have a 30 second break so that's what that does so this one is 90 this one is 180 this one is 270 so 90 increments all the way over so I can basically make as many waves as I like and it's gonna be a ton of work I have to copy this with MC edit 
to this, 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 this. The reason that I separated these by two is that it is easier to get in between them now. And if I didn't, then you would have these long hallways that I would always have to go through and just see what wave I'm on. And it's very, very annoying. So now I can just see like wave one, two, three, four, five. I can go through here and I can set all the commands. So it's basically that. Spend a pretty long time making this. But it worked out in my opinion. So now, how the zombies are going to spawn, then there are commands that have to run when the wave's running. So the first command is wave 1 incoming. I can show you that soon. Actually, let me show you that right now. So if I do start game, bam. The game's going to start, and as you can see, wave 1 incoming on the bottom left. And I can show you a few kills. By the way, my coins on the right, they actually go up. As you can see, 101. And I'm going to kill a few zombies. 100. And come on, 2. Yes, two, three, four, okay. And the purchasing of cannons is also working, but only for this one so far. So if I buy this one, 20 coins will be going off of my coin total. And this is now firing at about 1.5 seconds each arrow. So then these zombies are going to stay here. This is also working in the Seth Blink's way he did in his blocks versus zombies. Zombies will stack up here. As soon as a lot of zombies like push, a zombie will fall in and it will trigger a, a command. And that command is is something that I haven't worked on yet, so that's going to be that. I, I was going to work with health, so you're going to have like 10 health as a start, so as soon as 10 zombies fall in, you'll be dead. And as you can see, the, the thing on the bottom left now says next wave, it starts in 30 seconds, which means um, it's 60 seconds have passed, and now it's about here, I think. Let me see. So as you can see, this one is now running. It's going through. It's adding one to the time every second. And this one, when it's 90, it will set to true. So let's just wait for that. It will be soon in like 10 seconds. So I just wanted to show you that. Um, there we go. So now it's going through all of the commands. There's nothing in it yet, but it will go through all. So I don't know if you could see, but the, the black is a wave and the yellow is a wave. I just separated it because it's easier to see. And these are just some basic redstone stuff to get the signal up. And yes, one row is exactly 10 seconds. So that's really cool and it's really nice for me to program waves. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And then over here is the command that shows the um, next wave will start in 30 seconds thing. So I'm not spawning any more zombies after those 60 seconds. So that's basically that. Um, now, how the zombies are going to spawn, this command sets a redstone block over here. Now, the one below that sets the exact same block back to air again, so you're basically like using this command, so we call it, this is a command, and then that, that block is spawning a block there, a redstone block, which activates all of this shit, and then that one will set it to air again, so then the next block could be on there as well. Um, so what these are doing is basically just summoning a zombie, a simple zombie with no equipment yet. I still have to do that but no equipment yet and the, this one is just spawning three zombies in groups. So you can have like three groups of zombies, you can spawn different groups everywhere in the wave system and it's gonna be awesome. So I'm gonna make like 20 different groups of zombies, so like one zombie, one group will have like three zombies, the first one, and then the second group will be like more close together and then like six zombies which which is harder to kill obviously and then the next one will have like zombies with leather armor and then the next one will have baby zombies the next one will have zombies with I don't know with a speed boost I'm just thinking so that's all the possibilities and it's really really cool um, so I guess that's basically it what I wanted to show you it's there's gonna be a ton more soon I'm working on this like almost 24 7 I'm doing a lot of time putting a lot of time in this so it would be awesome if you guys could hit that like button subscribe to me if you're already and write a comment down telling me what you think about this awesome mini game and i'll see you guys in the next video take care